Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here to talk to you about a perilous plate that perturbs a multitude of men. Give me time to explain this theory. I ask that you give me speaking powers and throw me a freaking bone as we take a moment of silence for our brothers in the friend zone. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what the friend zone is, I shall explain. It is a space that brings some pain, for it is essentially a knight who gets slain by the very person that he is trying to rescue. A woman that he wants to call his own, but this young love will never be full grown because she sees him as just a friend. So I got busy and tried to find the marquee characteristics, and this is what I believe. This phenomenon is particularly prevalent at Comic-Con, where nerds gather one and all so they can hate Jar Jar, but still love Darth Maul. Now, most nerds that I've talked to feel they're the most boned by the purgatory called the Friend Zone. So I've honed my research and created a theory. Be leery, I've thought this through quite clearly when it comes to the Friend Zone. This is what I think. The Friend Zone was created by Mario and Link. <laughs> These two men of fictional fame created and entertaining video games both have the same goal, to rid the kingdom of evil and save the princess. Whether it's Super Mario Bros. or Legend of Zelda, these two fine fellows always have the same mission. Travel the kingdom, save the world, and at the end they get the girl, right? Yeah. Wrong! <laughs> Game over! You may think this is a wee bit of DSBS and one Nintendo don't understand this poem, but everyone wants the endings again. Boom! Friend zone. I want to talk to you, Mario. You're the star of your own games, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom, slayer of Bowser, and a doctor, no less, much like Doogie Howser. So you wanted a girl, and you chose Peach? Yo, she's out of your league, dude, that's a bit of a reach. I said, yo, she is out of your league, dude, that's a bit of a reach. You thought that throwing some parties, going go-karting, would get her on your team and bring sunshine to your galaxy? It's a dream. Mario, this escapade was a blunder. Your friend told me because no princess will ever date a shroom-addicted plumber. <laughs> now, Link. Hey, listen. Your game's right now. I am reminiscing. Hero of the kingdom of Hyrule, Ganondorf, the evil king. You would always be. No matter the odds, you'd never admit defeat, but isn't it about time that you gave up on Zelda? Because you already broke the number one highest rule. Don't try and force it. You're awakening, I fully endorse it. Because it would have linked up in the past once, but now your ego wears a diminished cap because Zelda blocks your advances like a shield. Link, your love story is worse than Twilight with this princess. It can't be ignored. You're friends zone, so you went home and you mastered your own sword. These two characters. Heroes to a generation, icons of an aggregation of nerds who have experienced frustration in their flirtations. And in our admiration, we forgot. They didn't win their princess at the end. Take from this what you will, but don't try and be her savior. See, any one of us can be a charmer, but it doesn't mean we have to squeeze into shining armor, because more often than not, heroes will fall. And shining armor can look a lot like a green tunic or blue overalls. Yeah.